Venus and past life. Enough of this life and the future, right? Let's move into past lives. <laughs> so wherever Venus sits in your chart, 10 things that it indicates related to your past life. Now, these things are not just indicated by Venus. There are multiple houses which indicates this and you cannot take this literally. Okay, I will give you examples and I will explain. But in general, if you have Venus in a particular house, which I am sure you do, <laughs> then it means there is some serious karmic bondage related to these 10 aspects. Okay, and it will depend on which house and among these 10 Certain houses will have some unique flavors, okay? We'll discuss them in a while, okay? So, what is the first thing? The first thing that Venus tells you about your past life karma is how do you perceive marriage? Very, very, very important. What does this mean? So, for example, if the Venus is in your first house, then it can tell you that it is highly possible that in your previous lifetimes you have focused more on the beauty aspect of marriage you know, or you know, appearance, uh, your appearance and also on the appearance of the spouse. And it can also mean that you uh, there could have been some issues when uh, your spouse, uh, yeah, after some years of marriage, did not look as good as they looked in the initial days. <laughs> it could have happened. So now these patterns might repeat again okay so therefore it's uh, important that you understand that if you are seeing similar patterns in this life then you should not repeat it because beauty is something which will fail okay now this is just an example you know if venus is in second then something to do with family okay uh, some issues in the family especially if venus is badly placed then maybe there were some issues uh, in the family which kind of uh, created troubles in the marriage okay now what that issue could be that depends on your chart and your overall uh, planetary placements okay but in general this is how you read so please observe the patterns if suppose you have had two three breakups or two three marriages and you are seeing that there is a particular pattern repeating in regards to the house where venus sits then maybe this is an indication that your karmic bondage from the previous lifetimes is not yet over and it will, it has to perpetually continue. Maybe in this life or in the next. Now, this is not an excuse to uh, bad or unruly behavior or to tolerate abuse. Okay, like for example, if Venus is in the 8th, that does not mean you have to tolerate abuse and uh, violence from your spouse. Okay, but do whatever is required to be good and to protect yourself. But if you are seeing that patterns are repeating again and again, then maybe that can give us a hint of what we did in our past lifetimes. And maybe because of that, maybe the same thing is happening to us again. All right. Number two, it tells us about love relationships. Very important. Venus represents the wife for a man, but it represents women in general. Or a man, okay, any woman that he's intimately uh, wanting to associate with, okay. So it can represent uh, lovers or, you know, like whatever, anybody. <laughs> so therefore, wherever Venus sits in your chart, it is possible that you might have to, you might have had something to do with your love relationships and uh, women in general in regards to that particular house okay so therefore if you have venus in a particular house and you are facing some problems from women in general as a man from that particular house then you need to be very careful because it might be that you know in this lifetime they are coming back and giving you the karma okay so it, it is possible to some extent so for example if you know venus is um, there in your right fifth house you know so it would happen sometimes if the eighth house and the twelfth house is linked then yeah you go and start a hobby or you you know go to do some higher education or you go to a spiritual community and then there's some mess with some lady there okay so it can happen i'm not saying it will but it can mean that you you did something uh, similar to somebody from that area of life so 
Now that lady may not be your wife in this lifetime, could be from point number one or you may not necessarily want to marry that lady, but it could be a lady in general, okay? And Venus in general uh, will represent any women that uh, you are attracted to as a man. So therefore, it's like uh, getting attracted to somebody and then paying the price. <laughs> okay, so therefore, you need to be very careful regarding this, okay? And for women, Venus will represent sisters. So therefore, uh, yeah, if Venus is in a particular house and badly placed, then it can give you some clues about your past lifetimes regard in regards to you know, what kind of sisters you had or uh, what kind of uh, events your sisters went through. Okay, that is also very much possible for women. Okay, so therefore, you need to be careful. <laughs> And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And for personalized consultations, you can always go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. He will save you from Venus. <laughs> and yes, I will be in New Delhi from 24th of, yeah, 24th, 25th of November to 2nd of December. And uh, 10th December this year to 10th January next year in Guwahati, Assam. So if you are nearby these places and you would like to consult me one-on-one, -on -one, then you can send a mail at exoticastrology at the rate gmail.com. Right? Now, number three, very important. Wherever Venus sits in the chart, it gives an indication of past life luxury. So it is possible that, for example, you know, if Venus is in the fourth house then it is very much likely and if it is reasonably well placed then there's a high chance that in our previous lifetimes we have spent you know in luxurious homes or you know luxury uh, yeah luxury property luxury vehicle you know luxury estate or whatever okay real estate <laughs> it could be anything you know venus is in third you know we have spent in gadgets and all this you know so therefore you might realize that you still have that fascination which is continuing, okay? Therefore, you will always see people who have Venus in the fourth, they are always addicted to, you know, cars and uh, homes and all this, okay? Why? Because the the attachment is continuing from our previous lifetimes and that can tell us uh, what is going on and, you know, if Venus is in Dustanas, then it can show we have, uh, we have had addictions or you know attachments to the wrong things okay so therefore if venus is in a dusta house you really need to need to see what is going on you know what kind of luxuries are you getting attracted to and why are you getting attracted to these kind of luxuries so these are things which you have to kind of figure out okay number four venus represents cars and vehicles as i said so specifically there will be something to do with vehicles. Now, suppose you were born like 500 years ago, not 500, maybe you know, 2000 years back, okay? When there were maybe no cars, there were only chariots, okay? So then, suppose you had, uh, you in this lifetime, I'm, I mean, just, uh, I'm giving a story for making, to, to explain you, okay? So for example, if you have Venus in the ninth in this lifetime, and it is possible that, 2000, 3000 years back when you only had chariots, maybe it is possible that your father had gifted you his chariot because Venus is in the ninth, okay? Now, it just does not mean that, you know, somebody came and gifted you all this, but it can mean that there is something to do in this life also. So therefore, if, uh, if you have any problems with your vehicle or vehicles, then uh, see where Venus is and the person related to that house, you know, can give you some clues in regards to, you know, which vehicle should you choose or how to repair your vehicle properly. Uh, for example, if Venus is in third, you know, maybe your uh, acquaintances and uh, your siblings can help you with purchase of vehicle. Number five, wherever Venus uh, sits, there is conception of some beauty in your, from your previous lifetimes, okay? So, for example, if Venus, you know, sits in your sixth house, it's possible that you might, uh, you might focus on health and that's like beauty to you. You know, it's not just like external appearance, but it's like, you know, maintaining your health and your daily work. You know, it's like 
uh, it is something very attractive for you and you get attracted to people who maintain their health and their daily commitments okay because sixth house shows your health and daily commitments so therefore it is not a great house for venus uh, because it's the house of separation and divorce but in general it can tell you what you what is your conception of beauty okay and that's coming from the previous lifetime so therefore if you want to know what a person considers beautiful then you should check where venus is in that person's chart okay Number six, opposite sex. This I've already said for men, but Venus, again, is the karga for attraction towards the opposite sex, right? So it is applicable also to women to some extent. Although for women, uh, the kind of male she's attracted to is like Mars and the husband is seen from Jupiter, not Venus, not Mars as per the classics. But in general, Venus can show men that women are also attracted to in general okay because it is the karaka for attraction okay may not be men but it is the karaka for attraction so therefore uh, for men as i said you know it can uh, show uh, specifically women or for women it can show sisters but also it can show men so wherever venus sits you know so if your venus is in the 10th house you know, for a female then it can mean to some extent that you know maybe people in the workplace are very much attracted to you or yeah you are attracted to people in the workplace okay so somehow that energy of attraction is there okay so that is something you need to be aware of so now the thing is why why should you be aware of this you know what will you gain by knowing this so for example if suppose you have venus in the 10th and there is always an issue with your Colleague, you know, maybe you are a male or a female and, you know, some member of the opposite sex is, you know, spreading false news against you and all this nonsense is happening in in your office. So then, you know, maybe there is some, you know, karmic, uh, there is some karmic bondage and you have to see how you can clear that. Okay, so therefore, this, the agenda of this video is, you know, to tell you where your karmic bondage could be and how to rectify that. Okay. Number seven, Venus shows your karma. Karma is lust, traction, but specifically it shows, you know, attachment, okay? Mercury, Venus specifically. Mercury shows attraction for money and wealth and Venus shows attraction for the material world. So, Venus, uh, the placement of Venus in your chart can tell you what was your conception of the material world you know what was pleasure what was enjoyment what was fun what was beauty all these things you know what what were you most attached to in your previous lifetimes so that venus can show so wherever venus is you know you will have very strong attraction in that house you know not just to, with the opposite sex you know as i said with venus in the fourth it could be you know now uh, yeah vehicles or cars you know or venus in the 11th you know friends anybody okay not just sexually but there is a very strong identity there okay and therefore mercury venus are always very close to the sun because the sun is the atma and both show attachment okay number eight wherever venus sits there it it can mean that there was some imbalance in that area of life in your previous lifetimes. What is imbalance? Imbalance is like because Venus rules the sign of Libra. Okay, so Libra people, uh, so people think that if you have a moon in Libra or sun in Libra or your ascendant in Libra or ascendant lord in Libra, it shows you are very balanced. No, it may not show that. It may show that if the overall chart is good. But it may also show that you lack balance seriously, okay? So therefore, if you feel that you lack balance in life, you know, you are going to extremes, then you need to check what what is that which you are doing in the house where Venus is, you know, in, in a wrong way. Okay? For example, if Venus is in the 8th and you you are losing out in life, you know, maybe you are doing something like you know watching porn pornography and you know maybe masturbating you know as a man especially so you are losing your vital fluid and uh, you you are not able to progress ahead in life so there therefore it is imperative that if venus is in a particular house you check what 
what are you doing in that house and that house can be the cause of imbalance of your overall chart your overall life okay very 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 important don't forget it number nine it can show materialistic desires in general not just attachment okay so for example you know if venus is in the third you may you know love to travel you know you may just love that house okay and you may want to enjoy everything related to that house, you know, like hard houses, you know, short distance travel, trips, gadgets, you know, technology. So you might be very materially uh, good with it or you may be bad also, but it shows, you know, desires in general. You have desires, you know, you want the latest iPhone, there's beauty there, there's luxury and so many other things. And you may you may feel that, you have never had enough of that particular house because materialistic desire is like, yeah, they, it's, uh, what is that word? Mriga Trishna, right? The desire is never quenched, okay? So it's like the desire is only increasing day by day, okay? So generally people are very uh, concerned about the house where Venus sits, okay? You, you will see them, they are like, you know, very much bothered, okay, what's going on in this house? How are people perceiving me? No, and you know, how, what up? What do people think about me in this area? How am I doing in this area of life? Okay, that is why people who have Venus in the first or in the seventh, they are very conscious about their appearance. Okay, sometimes in the fifth or eleventh also, but in general, they are trying to see their appearance as a way to enjoy and fulfill their material desires, and because of that, this is happening. Okay. And last but not the least, wherever Venus sits in your chart, there is indication of seduction in that area of life. You know, some member of the opposite sex related to that area could, you know, try to uh, seduce you. That is possible. And this is seen uh, in experience that if Venus is there in the second house, you know, there could be issues like incest and all this. And especially if in the 6th, 10th or 11th, you know, then somebody in your workplace might get attracted to you and try to, you know, uh, charm you. <laughs> so therefore, uh, please be aware of this. And if you see any indications of that happening, like for example, if Venus is in your 6th and because 6th house shows your daily job and all this, you know, and, and if you see somebody is, you know, trying to uh, do something like that, then don't fall into the trap, you know, either worst case, change your team or change your company altogether if required, okay? It's better to take up that pain and uh, yeah, I mean, if you see such indications, okay, it does not mean if you have Venus in uh, 6th or 10th, you know, every time you will have this problem wherever you go, it does not mean, but just as a precaution, you know, it might happen sometimes. So, if that happens, you have to understand that now, this is coming from my past lifetime and if the 8th house and the 12th house are also associated, then there could be defamation because of all this, okay? If not, then this will just be a passing affair, all right? There you go, karmic implications of Venus. There are more than 10, but this is just 10, all right? So, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and share it with somebody who has a prominent Venus. And for personalized consultations, my website is down below. God is there with you to save you from Venus. Just look to him and you will surely find him. New Delhi dates, 24th, oops, 25th November to 2nd December and Guwahati, 2nd Dece 10th December to 10th of January. All right, exotic astrology at the rate gmail.com for one-on-one -on -one consultations. Thank you so much. Please take care. Jai Siaram.